Hey guys, this is Thomas Ingersoll with Block EDU. Today we're going to talk about the three most common key light patterns on the face. Butterfly, loop, and Rembrandt lighting. The first light pattern that we're going to talk about is butterfly lighting. Butterfly light is usually when the light source is straight on or overhead to the subject. Light cast shadows straight back and usually creates really flat and even lighting. The butterfly light pattern is a technique commonly used for portraits, headshots, and anything that you would want very minimal shadows for. One thing you want to look out for with this technique is making sure that the shadow below the nose doesn't go into the lip. The next light pattern that we're going to talk about is loop lighting. Loop lighting is when the light source is off to the right or left at a 45 degree angle from your subject. With this technique, your light source will cast a small loop shadow to the right or left of your subject. One thing that you want to watch out for with this technique is making sure that the shadow doesn't go into the lip or sweep across the cheekbone. The loop lighting pattern is a technique commonly used when you want to start to introduce a little bit more shadow and a little bit more drama into your shots. The next light pattern that we're going to talk about is Rembrandt lighting. Rembrandt lighting is when your light source is off to the right or left of your subject at a 90 degree angle. With this technique, your light source will be perpendicular to your subject, creating shadows that sweep across the subject's face. With this technique, you're going to want to pay attention and make sure that there's a small upside down light triangle on one of the cheekbones. The Rembrandt lighting pattern is a technique used when you want to introduce a lot more drama into your shot and have a much more moodier image. I hope these tips help. Always have intent with your lighting by starting with one of these three light patterns. And don't be afraid to experiment.